Hey everybody, I have got some feedback on a video I recently done, and if you'll look over in the top corner, I'll put a little, uh, I don't know, marker there where you can go see that video showing an air conditioner being installed. Now, I'm out here at a coming by it container place, and these are the containers that you can buy. You see, that's a 20 footer, over there's a 30, this one here is a 40. We're going to start with this one. These containers sell for about um, I don't know, 4,500 bucks. Now, the 20s over there, is, when you see them ads, they always got these ads out there, and that thing right there, they're like, oh, $2,500, and then they list 20, 30, 40-foot containers. And then you think, $2,500 for a 40, that's a pretty good price, but then you go further, right? Now, here's the difference here. We're gonna go and I'm gonna show you something. Wooden floors that are typically rotted out, and this right now, it's, it's about 85 degrees outside out here, down here in Central Texas, and these containers, they leave the doors open because they are so freaking hot. It's probably 130 degrees in there, and I can just feel the heat. It's amazing amount of heat. And the second thing is, is even though these are made out of typically 16 gauge steel, they cannot support hardly any weight up top because if you look there's not a beam structure involved in this that's why they say don't bury this crazy thing don't bury this okay all right so i've seen this constant craze so let me explain something you see this thing right here made in china china four thousand five hundred dollars for this garbage all right now they'll repaint them they'll knock some dents out and they'll resell them but four thousand five hundred dollars for this chunk of metal made in china now for this thing right here I'll show you a picture for that thing right there you're going to be paying four thousand five hundred dollars it's eight feet longer and then we're going to walk over there inside and look at so, it sitting out here these containers they get them as part of their delivery for about 900 to 1,000 bucks. They sell them to you for 4,500, don't let them lie to you. Then they charge you 1,000 bucks to deliver them. There's no free delivery. I don't care what they tell you. They charge you mileage. As far as it dropping it off the truck, you know, that's free, but don't, don't believe the scam. It's a big scam. There's a shortage of these containers right now, so they're jacking the prices up a whole lot. All right, so let's get over here. We're gonna look at that. Okay guys, so why do we have an argument semi-trailer versus cargo? Aren't these like ridiculously expensive? No, and let me explain why. When these reefer units or the classification for insurance for a box trailer of any kind uh, expires, they don't want to spend all the money to recertify them. There's nothing wrong with the trailer, it's just our government in action. Up here, when this $30,000 reefer unit quit, the trailer's already 14 years old, or in my case, I think it was like 12. Um, and they just said, sell it, write it off as a loss, and then there you go. So I ended up with this trailer for $4,500. It is a 48-foot reefer freezer trailer. Remember that word, reefer freezer trailer. So you want to search for that. All right, so it had the tank underneath it. They salvaged all those parts off. Now, why would we go with one of these? All right. Full aluminum framing. You see that? Um, removing the trucks, just like a skateboard in a way, just like that, um, is just going to be removing the trucks by literally taking these clamps off. If you see that clamp over here, okay? And this whole system, you can just jack it up and these will just roll out the way that these are rigged up, the way that they're made, okay? Very easy to do, and then you can resell the hardware and parts out of this for about $1,500. All right, now one of the things that you guys probably don't know about using this kind of a trailer is that you can use this style of an RV window. You see the screw holes? You just cut the hole and you mount the window, and then inside you'll just use you what's called a uh, protector strip, like what they put in commercial buildings, a little rubber floor strip, to make your casement inside, and the same thing. This is a $40 window that's small. Uh, $50 gets you one about half as much bigger, but this is a little 17 by I think 26 or 25, and these windows work perfect 
because all you got to do is cut the hole and then you shoot the screws through the flange right there put a uh, silicone base on the back and then the same thing cut your hole 5 8 of an inch bigger and then you slide in quarter inch uh, inside trim and then trim out your windows it's really really simple to do it on these because of the way the body is designed and there's so much support inside of here that you don't have to worry about it it'll never hurt this to put 10 windows in it this one's a great Dane numerous brands out there Lufkins Mormon you name it all right now in here this is nice and cool because that air conditioner up there, that, that little 8,000 BTU AC unit, and, and right now it's 95 degrees outside, so I'm kind of sweating. Uh, in here is around 70 degrees, and it just takes an 8,000 BTU air conditioner, you see up there, to cool this whole 48 feet of trailer, and the reason is all the food we have in there. So, these screws come out. This is a pallet jack bumper that prevents you from damaging your door frame when you're hauling out. The second thing is, is these are eight foot three inches wide. Now you'll notice that those uh, containers are eight foot OD outside diameter, uh, and but they're metric. This one here is designed this way because you'll have pallets in the United States that are four foot wide, and the pallet might shift a little, okay, you know, where your stack is at. And you don't need them to get stuck together. And if you have a little extra space, that extra three inches of total width, two four-foot pallets with a little movement space, you can get them out. They don't get stuck. All right. So this big trailer here is a nine-foot ceiling, eight-foot three wide, incredibly well insulated. This door is insulated. Now you can get the swing open, or you can luck out like me, and I got one of these that has this kind of uh, rolling door on it. But all aluminum body hellaciously well built and it's built in where the united states this is an american product made by american labor it's not imported from china so what do you do get you a 48 foot so let's get back over there and let's get more in discussion um on these cargo containers you really need to pay attention by the time that you put all the insulation and everything else that you're going to do inside of one of these you've lost a half the thickness of the walls i mean you're you're going to add say three inches of insulation in here and maybe wood side it and vinyl side it you, you name it it's still going to rust they're rusting like hell now they're made with the cheapest metal that can roll off the chinese presses it is the cheapest why is it the cheapest because it's disposable it's aluminum can it's so soda can it's it's a can of food can it's it's disposable this metal isn't intended to last 25 years. That's serious. That's a fact. Okay? So this container right here is a 39 foot. And I think I looked at the tag. The tag's kind of hard to read. But this container is a 2009 model container. 2009. That semi truck here in the, here in the video, it's 2007. It's in perfect condition. So what I get out of a semi truck trailer is eight more feet of length three more inches of already existing width you see three more inches already existing and if you go over here and you look at here this these are only seven foot eight they're not even eight foot wide because they've got to be for a metric palletized system metric remember that so you got a trailer that's eight foot three wide inside this thing is seven foot eight and you're still going to knock off six seven inches out of that you're going to have a seven foot wide you got to buy a travel trailer way wider than that for a lot less money so if you look up in here this is what you get this is a 40 footer and what you get out of these deals that 20 footer right there is what they want 2500 bucks for it for 2500 dollars you can buy a 53 foot used van from truckpaper.com and go get it for another 500 bucks 53 footer it's already more structurally sound than that you got to remember it's got to go up and down the highway with its own suspension this don't it rides on a trailer built for it so don't buy this junk don't buy this junk don't buy that don't get sold on the craze man the tiny house stupidity crap don't do it all right guys y'all be good